Hey guys, I'm Hunter Knight. If you want a collectible like the one we're about to present, there is a link in the description to Big Bad Toy Store. They offer great customer service and international shipping. And now let's continue with this showcase review. Hello my fellow knights, Hunter here with another review, this time with a San Diego Comic Con exclusive Batman v Superman 2 pack. It comes in an awesome box with lights and sounds which we will see later in full detail. The funny thing is that this set wasn't selling at all, there were piles of them at the Mattel booth and nobody cared. That is, until the second trailer for the movie was released on Saturday and then they sold out. Everybody was running faster to get them than a chicken being chased by Ronald McDonald. By early Sunday, the set was gone for the entire convention. Okay, let's take a look and see what the fuss is all about. First off, we have Superman. Many of us thought that it was the same 2013 Movie Masters figure with a different head, but a closer inspection reveals more. The head is a brand new sculpt for Henry Cavill, with better proportions this time, unlike the humongous one from years before with a better bone structure and hair sculpt. The chest and crotch are brand new as well, since the suit in this movie has a square belt. These yellow lines are also not present in the 2013 figure, so a new sculpt for the entire chest was in order. The question is, why didn't they give us a nap crunch this time? Not cool Mattel, not cool. That is a wasted opportunity in my opinion. His boots are also brand new, since now they have that red trimming on top. His cape is made of a semi-translucent fabric, attached at the top by this weird contraption that throws the look a bit off. I guess doing it hot toy style would have been too much. The regular release of this figure will come with a plastic cape and irregular colors instead of the metallic look seen here. Articulation wise, you get the same thing you got in 2013. There is nothing new, but still you can get soups in all sorts of godlike poses looking down at your other DC figures. Next up is the Dark Knight himself in his first ever figure for the Batman vs Superman movie. The sculpt seems to be brand new from top to bottom. The suit has all the wrinkles and stitches the movie one has, even on the bat symbol. However, the texture is not movie accurate. The entire figure comes decoed in a sort of metallic gray, similar to Superman's blue. The hands have brass knuckles and so do his boots. They are ready to kick Superman's ass back to Kansas. Now, the cowl. That is where the madness begins. It has made geeks angrier than a midget with a yo-yo, and that is cause of the texture in this thing. It's very different from the screen suit which we can see here. See? Totally different. But alas, I'm a very forgiving person. So now, let's see the- What the hell is wrong with his eyes? They look funny. I guess they're too big or too bright. Instead of looking angry, he looks as depressed as a polar bear in Hawaii. The jaw has a subtle shade but it's not exactly as we saw on the prototype. Same as Superman, he comes with a fabric cape. Mine came wrinkled thanks to the packaging. Ugh. The cape has two different textures on each side, plus the edges are asymmetrically cut on purpose to resemble wear and tear. The cape is held again by a plastic piece on the back. But if the cape could be a bit bigger and wrap all around him, I would be as happy as a tornado in a trailer park. But I'll take it. In my opinion, it's a choice of color that throws the whole thing off. But no worries, it's not the end of the world, my friend. The retail figures will come in that familiar flat colors we have seen in the prototypes, and also with a plastic cape. However, I have to say that the articulation is very constraining. It does not allow you to pose him very dynamically due in part to the odd proportions the figure has and the now outdated articulation on his legs and feet. It just doesn't flow organically like other figures in the market like say Goku. The articulation in this guy is a standard DC Universe classics. The head barely moves up and down. Constrained ab crunch. Bicep swivel. Elbow. Wrist cut. Waist twist. Legs open outwards as you can see. Constrained frontal leg movement. Thigh cut. Knee. No boot cut, which really needs it. 
ankles move forward and backwards. And no, no ankle swivel here, DC fanboy. The set comes with three batterings made of soft plastic with a nice detail on the edges, as if these are going to make a difference against Superman. You also get a stand, which you can use to pose both figures or, if you want, as a real batarang. Take that, alien! Go home! Wait, he has no home. The stand can also be split in two and pose either figure on each. Nice! Batman measures around 6.5 inches tall, and Superman 6.2. Yeah, Batman is huge here! Now comes the fun part, the box! It's what really sold the whole tamale for me. Mattel always excels at their package presentations for San Diego Comic Con exclusives and this time is no friggin' different, let's see. The lights and sounds on the package show you first a thunderstorm portrayed by three flickering LEDs. After a pause, a bat signal simulates the projection of a bat symbol right behind Superman. To be later surprised by the familiar S symbol incandescently appearing in a bright red color just behind Batfleck, to then later fade majestically into obscurity. I love it! When open, the box reveals all sorts of wirings and what not. Be very careful when removing it. Let's see it once more, but this time with other figures. Well played, Mattel. Well played. I have to admit, I've been pushing the lights and sounds feature like a mindless drone again and again. It just makes me happy, okay? Don't judge me. The rest of the box has the now familiar Batman vs Superman logos, legal warnings and a switch on the bottom to turn off the set, as well as the instructions to replace the batteries, all wrapped up in the now classic white mailer box complete with more Batman vs Superman logos. This set is a great sneak peek into the figures to come, plus the lights and sounds really make my heart happier than a pig in mud. But it's an easy pass nowadays thanks to the overinflated prices from scalpers on eBay that have skyrocketed the price. But if you don't want to shell out the cash, I suggest you wait for the retail release. You will have to get them separately, but at least you'll save a ton of cash. And your wallet will certainly thank you. Thanks for watching! If you like my review, please subscribe. It will make Bats and Superman very happy. Plus, you can save wild bears and dolphins. Nah, I'm kidding. This is Hunter Knight signing out.